may klase po ka mula na. Why na, ma'am? Oh, why not? Sige, ah. Mapuloy man sa mag, uh, kuan, ah. mga 5.30. Para nga makuha ko lang ni, ha? Kaya nakuha ko ni this morning. Pero wala ko makuha sa tatlo ka klase. Ti-record ko lang, ah. Okay, so 8 does 1, sa inyo na nga screen, 12 does 1. Value and non-value added cost reporting. Now, there are four activities, receiving mat uh, materials, assembly, expediting products, and storing goods. Receiving and assembly are necessary activities. Expediting and storing goods are unnecessary. The following data pertain to the four activities for the year ending 20x1. Actual price per unit of the activity driver is assumed to be equal to the standard price. So, actual price and standard price are equal. So, we have the activities. The activity drivers, I have already told you that the activity drivers are the basis. So, we have basis. Standard quantity, actual quantity, and standard price. Again, the standard price equal only to the actual price. Prepare a cost report for the year ending that shows the value added cost, non value added cost, and the total cost for each activity. Now, the problem stated that the receiving and the assembly. Activities are necessary and the other two activities are unnecessary. So we have now your non-value added cost. Now for the activities, the value added are those from the receiving and assembly departments and the non-value added cost from the expediting and storing. So we have the total cost. Question 2. Explain why expediting products and storing goods are non-value added activities because they are unnecessary. Both use resources without bringing about any change of state. In other words, you may eliminate them. Now, for three, what if receiving cost is a step fixed cost with each step being 1000 500 orders, whereas assembly cost is a variable cost. What is the implication for reducing the cost of waste for each activity? Now, for receiving, cost reduction occurs only when the actual demand for receiving orders is reduced by each block of 1,500 orders. For assembly, each hour save produces savings of $15. Accordingly, reduction in spending will likely materialize more quickly for assembly than for receiving. Okay, so this will give you uh, added ideas about value added and non-value added cost, which I have been mentioning earlier. Okay. So, the non-value added costs are the costs that do not add value to the products, meaning they are not necessary. Two, problem. Trend reporting for non-value added costs. Refer to exercise 1. Assume that at the beginning of 20x2, that's the next year. Cicleta trained the assembly workers in a new approach that had the objective of increasing the efficiency of the assembly process. Cicleta also began moving toward a jet purchasing and manufacturing system. When jet is fully implemented, the demand for expediting is expected to be virtually eliminated. It's expected to take two to three years for full implementation. Assume that receiving cost is a step fixed cost and with steps of 1,500 orders. The other three activities employ resources that are acquired as used and needed. At the end of 20x2, 
the following results were reported for the four activities. Now, stated in problem 1 that the actual price equal to the standard price. Prepare a trend report that shows the non-value added cost for each activity for 20x1 and 2 and the change in cost for the two periods. Discuss the report's implications. So, we have now the non-value added cost. For uh, non-value added, 20x1 and 20x2. For 20x1, the trend report shows that the company significantly reduced non-value added cost, validating the improvement actions taken and enhancing its competitive position. So in 20x1, when uh, you had 126 and... Uh, in 20x2, it's already zero because, as stated, uh, you have now your receiving cost is a step fixed cost with steps of 1,500 order, orders. So the assembly reduced and the expediting now for, uh, again, x1 and x2 uh, reduced until the three to uh, two to three years uh, for full implementation. So, in other words, it will gradually reduce from two to three years. We are only on the first year. Then, uh, requirement number three, uh, what if uh, at the end of 20x2, the selling price of a competing product is reduced by 27 per unit. Assume that the firm produces and sells 20,000 units of its product and that its product is associated only with the four activities being considered. By virtue of the waste reduction uh, savings, can the competitor's price reduction be matched without reducing the unit profit margin of the product that prevailed at the beginning of the year. If not, how much more waste reduction is needed to achieve this outcome? In this case, what price decision would you recommend? Okay, so we have now from requirement 1, the savings per unit of product are 24 Point 0.90 as computed, indicating that the competitor's price reduction cannot be much or bit without changing the unit profit margin that existed at the beginning of the year. Another 2.10 per unit of non-value added cost must be reduced. I would recommend matching the price reduction to ensure no loss of market share with the expectation that the next year improvements will produce at least 42,000 of savings. Now we have in uh, exercise 12-3, uh, 8-3, it's 12-3 in the uh, solution. So what is the setup standard for uh, set up hours? and the associated expected cost at the beginning of its first quarter, the Kaizen standard and expected associated cost. Now, the company produces custom-made machine parts. Setup activity is required for the batches of parts that it produces. Activity output is measured using setup hours. The value added standard uh, quantity for this activity is zero. In July 1, beginning of the fiscal year, uh, we have 10 step hours were allowed and used per batch. Standard wage rate for setup labor is $20 per setup hour. During the first quarter of the new fiscal year, the company is planning to implement a new setup method developed by Gordon's industrial engineers that's expected to reduce setup time by 40 percent 
The new procedure was implemented during the first quarter and the improvement expected was realized. So, we now compute for set up standard. This time, you have 10 hours as given. 10 hours per batch. Expected cost per batch is 10 times uh, 20. Okay, the rates are given. And uh, we have the Kaizen standard. It's 6 hours per batch. That's uh, 0.6 because we have the reduction of 0.4. So we have 0.6 times 10. Expected cost per batch is only 120 or 200 times 60 percent. What is the setup standard for setup hours and the associated cost at the end of the first quarter? Explain what is the next step in the Kaizen cost reduction process. So, number two, setup standard six hours per batch. Expected cost per batch is 120. After determining that the suggested improvement works and that is sustainable, the new level performance is locked in by revising the maintenance standard from 10 hours to 6 hours. The next step is to search for another improvement opportunity that will then produce a new Kaizen standard and expected batch cost. The ultimate objective is to eliminate all the non-value added costs through a series of Kaizen improvements. What if the new procedure implemented in the first quarter only produced 30% reduction instead of 40%? What would the new maintenance standard and cost be? What criteria would you logically expect to be met before maintenance standards and costs are modified? So you lock in the level actually achieved by the suggested improvement. This time, it's 7 hours. So the batch cost is 140. Revisions should be based on actual improvements achieved and the sustainability of these improvements. Now we go to uh, the last problem. Uh, exercise uh, 8-4, activity-based flexible budgeting. Now we have uh, welding activity and wants to develop a flexible budget. Now when we talk about flexible budget, it's a budget at different levels of activity. So we have now four the following resources used. For welding units, the least cost is 12,000 per unit. Six welding employees each pay the salary of 50,000 a year. A total of 9,000 welding hours are supplied by six workers. Welding supplies 300 per job and welding hours, 3 hours use per job. During the year, the activity operated at 90% of capacity and incurred the actual activity and resource cost shown on the next page. We have the lease cost, then the salaries, parts, and supplies. Prepare flexible budget formula for the welding activity using welding hours as the cost driver. So acquired in advance in usage, welding equipment, then we have the welders, total fixed cost, acquired as needed, uh, welding uh, supplies, that's uh, 100 per welding hour, and the welding cost is 348 plus 100x. Okay, so we have now for the flexible budget then for number two uh, prepare performance report for the welding activity so we have now the activity with the fixed cost the actual cost the budgeted cost and the budget variance now we know when 
favorable and when unfavorable. And we have the variable cost. Now you have the computations and the welding cost. Here, the cost of welding equipment is fixed. Okay, so that ends uh, my lecture. Okay, so hoping everybody can qualify to the accountancy program. Uh, God bless everyone. And uh, I hope you can make it to the final grade. So is there any question before we leave? Any questions before we leave? Before we uh, exit? Any questions? Ma'am, excuse me. Oo. Ma-proctor ka man, ma'am, sa ano? Qualifying, ma'am. Ate, ako nga, ako maubra. Ma-proctor, gid ko ya eh. Oo nga, ah. <laughs> ako maubra qualifying. Actually, ginamatamat ko na. Pero, ipatanaw ko man kay ma'am Sarumines. Nga, aga pamangkot ka. Why lang, ma'am, ma'am? Curious lang, mama. Ah, nga hindi ka gusto ng mag-proctor ko. Uh, Why ma'am kami ng ban, mama? Why man gid na, nag-open mo lang na kami computer kag mag-kuan. Why naman ah. Sige na mo lang na yapon. So, final exam, 4 hours. Ang quali, 3 hours. But the quali is shorter than the final exam. Okay? So, uh, see you sa final exam and see you sa quali. I hope you can make it to the quali. Ha? Huh? God bless everyone. Bye. Thank you so much, ma'am. Bye bye. God bless. Bye. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Thank you. Bye, ma'am.